Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. We're in Monday morning bright and early as normal. Uh, now we've got a bit of a hectic weekend over. I didn't manage to get any footage of it because uh, I was very, very drunk. Uh, but Tom might have a little bit. Uh, now we've got the weekend over uh, and I need a week at work to recover from it. Uh, we're going to come in this morning and strip down the boil kettle, make sure that's all cleaned and ready to go for the next uh, brew day. We may at some point today or tomorrow start dry hopping some of the beers that we made last week. Um, I've been in touch with the guys at DC Iron and they've informed me that my uh, order for the railings next door should be on the way and it should be with us either tomorrow or Wednesday so we know that we can start construction on the railings. Um, I also have to make a new video for the Facebook page um, because I'm pleased to announce that we've just won uh, Nottinghamshire, the whole county, Pub of the Year 2019 and that includes all the other branches in Nottinghamshire including the city of Nottingham itself so it's a real big achievement which uh, I never thought we'd actually get uh, but yeah, that's a testament for what we're actually doing in the brew shed, isn't it? I'm really, really chuffed with that. Um, and also this weekend, uh, I sat down with Abigail. Uh, Dominic wasn't too interested. I thought he would be. And we bought this kit off eBay. So this is a build your own clock kit. And they're only about a fiver or so. And what you do is you weld, or solder, should I say, all the components in and it was really interesting to figure out what all of these components were uh, you got your little quartz crystal there for the timing mechanism a couple of chips and battery literally everything has to be soldered into this printed circuit board it just arrives as a PCB and a bunch of components on one side and then you put in the eight segment displays or whatever they call them uh, yeah, and Abigail really enjoyed doing it, cutting out the components and trimming the leads with the uh, with the snips. Uh, she didn't, however, do any soldering because, uh, well, she's only little at the minute and it's a bit dangerous. But I'm really pleased that she was interested in it. So one of the reasons why I picked up this uh, little clock is because on the top it has a little temperature uh, I think it's some type of diode but yeah it reads the temperature and on a brew day when I'm filling in my sheet I have to record air temperature and everything and I'm normally using the thermometer in the mash so it only takes me 30 seconds to measure the air temperature but if I've got this plugged in up on the wall then I can just glance across immediately and get it written in without having to walk away from the paperwork so let's take it over here uh, find somewhere to plug it in and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm thinking we can perhaps sit it on top of the uh, microwave. There we go. Um, bingo! You can see that there we are. So I think that's probably closer to the correct temperature, yeah, it says 16 degrees there, it says 16 degrees there. So I'll show you on the thermometer. Uh, maybe we should zoom in a little bit so you can see that. But yeah, I'm really chuffed. So we've got, we've got 16 degrees there, 16.3. And this little beauty is also showing 16. So that's close enough for the girls I go out with, I can tell you that much. So yeah. Nice, neat little uh, build your own clock, alarm clock, thermometer. It is an alarm clock as well if we needed anything like that, but we don't. So before I go and do any work in the pub, um, I've just been into the cold room and uh, we can now see that obviously it works a treat, but the condensation is now becoming an issue on the floor, creating a little bit of mold and uh, yeah, making a mess of all the timber. So what we need to do is waterproof this and look at the drips falling off. 
We need to waterproof this and we need to put in a condensation trap. So what I've done on this cold room is we've had this board out the other day and uh, well I've absolutely coated it in varnish. So this is now waterproof and we can put this back on again. Uh, I'm hoping though to suspend some type of drip tray underneath with a pipe leading out and away and if we have to we can build a little bit of a pump mechanism to carry any condensation away to drain instead of having it draining across the floor but quite frankly I think once it's out here it doesn't matter if it drains down onto the floor because of course it's a wet floor so first thing I want to do obviously this has been turned off and is now isolated so I'm going to pull the panel off of the mount and we're going to take it out to dry out and then we're going to varnish all this up maybe tomorrow when it's dried and then go and see if we can't find some type of uh, I don't know maybe some type of narrow plastic planter or even roller tray or something like that might work perfectly just to catch the condensate and then we pipe it away spent most of the bloody day sat upstairs doing uh, admin stuff it always seems to creep up on me and bite me in the butt but while that's been going on I have had uh, some of the nitrosid recirculating in this tank oh yeah and it looks like it's done the job so when I started it this morning all that edge there was oh, steamed up all that edge over there was completely covered in uh, in carbonates there's still some down here so hopefully we can leave it a little bit longer and it'll pull all that off but yeah looking good so far right now you'll notice these chalkboards over here so Stuart's pulled them out today I have to make a bar like a kind of mobile bar thing that we're uh, going to be taking to a village fair so Stuart's been asked if we can do a mobile bar at a village fete and we've agreed to do it but we've only got 10 days in order to get everything ready which is one of the reasons why I've been sat up here so a few of you may know that I was going to teach myself how to use the vector graphics on um, Inkscape well I've been watching quite a lot of videos that people have linked to and uh, well this is my first design so far so I think you can see that and um, I think I'll be able to just pop you down there a second and take control of the keyboard and zoom in and there we go that's what we've got so what do you think to that folks I don't think I've done a bad job to be honest so the brew shed event bar Harrison's brewery logo on one side social media links awards what we're going to be serving at the bar our address I think it looks pretty nifty if I'm honest it's slick it's clean uh, it's not too too busy uh, so yeah I'm really quite pleased with that so what I have to do now is just go next door to Shaz and make sure that she's got that uh, that graphic because she needed it by five o'clock today if indeed she can do the banner for us that banner is going to go obviously it's an eight foot by three foot in front of our bar if you like so I'm going to just go up there and double check she's got it if she has then I think we'll be good to go for uh, next week if not we may be in trouble but that's why I've been upstairs all afternoon because uh, I needed to get that banner done that artwork done today okay I failed it didn't go through because I've not saved it to my work area and I've just sent her the page you know the page that comes up on Inkscape you, you will do if you've done it before yeah so she just got the T so Shaz has basically just got the T on this 
workspace area there so I need to save all of it so she can see what the crack is let's see if I can figure this out oh Chancy boy you ready to go on mate it is getting late it's gone five hasn't it matey so here we are this it's worked it's gone through to uh, Shaz and that is the first ever document that I've created on Inkscape I think that looks pretty darn good, don't you? Oh gosh! Right, so uh... That is pretty good, I thought it was. So before we go home, I'm just going to disconnect pipe work from this acid rinse so I don't want it to damage the pump so we'll just pull it all off like that and then just rinse out the pump housing so it's uh, good to go tomorrow uh, I think it's almost clean that tank so we've just got one more to do and then yeah within a week or two we've got all the fittings on the new fermenters and we've got them all scaled uh, and ready to be clad that is the next job but like I say I've just had a message like I said this morning I've just had a message from DC Iron I got in touch with them about the railings and they said everything is on its way today so it should be with us tomorrow because it's on an overnight uh, so fingers crossed we get to see some of the metal work and the silhouette that's been cut out for the beer garden and uh, provided I'm not too busy tomorrow we might even be able to make a start on it sounds good eh? so as far as today's concern folks I'm gonna have to wrap it up right now because I need to go home and uh, get prepared for a busy day tomorrow accountant first thing DC iron delivery at some point throughout the day and uh, of course filming the vlog, we'll see you then.